Welcome to Ticket. Ticket is a Microsoft Teams exclusive help desk and ticketing solution that comes packed with powerful features, integrations, automations, and more to take your help desk to the next level. So let's take a look at what it can do. Today we'll be joined by Adele, who is one of our end users on the left here in our light theme. And on the right in our dark theme, we have Diego, who is an analyst on our help desk. So Adele is just about to message Diego. Now, Diego could continue the back and forth with Adele here to figure out what's going on, but instead he's just going to go straight to the ellipses here, more actions, and create a ticket in ticket, ideally on the actionable message like my email is down. So he can update the requester, change the request itself, and even the priority, but for now we're going to go ahead and hit submit. And we're going to get an update from our virtual agent help bot, and we see here that the ticket was created successfully. So now where do the tickets go? So Diego is part of a team called Ticket and he's in a channel called Triage. And this is where all of the new tickets will come in once they are created. So from here, Diego has a few options. He can take or assign the ticket. He can add an attachment, modify it, add a tag, which can be whatever your organization desires. Uh, he can continue chatting with Adele or create a new meeting. But for now, we're just going to reply to the ticket. So we're going to say back to Adele via ticket, make sure our look is in online mode first. We could also send a private message to only other analysts. We could just send the reply, but today we're going to send the reply and add to KB. So what this is gonna do is a couple of things. So anytime someone asks now, uh, or says something along the lines of my email is down, or Outlook seems to be slow, or what have you, um, Ticket now with our AI powered virtual agent help bot will reply with this every time. So now we have replied to the ticket and we have taught our virtual agent help bot something new. So let's jump back over to Adele and see what was happening on her end of things. So Adele, if you'll recall, got a few updates from HelpBot, and let's see what some of those were. So Adele got updates that her ticket was created by Diego, and then she also got an update that Diego responded to the ticket, make sure Outlook is in online mode. So she can go ahead and reply, and continue interacting with the ticket. And this also gets her back in the loop of interacting with HelpBot, or being in this HelpBot chat window to interact with her tickets, make requests, etc. Now you may have noticed that we also got an update over here for Diego and he can go ahead and uh, close the ticket or continue working with it if he needs to. Now what happens if Adele asks something that we have not yet trained the help bot on? So help bot will respond with, I'm sorry I didn't quite understand what you wanted. From here, she can take a look at her old request, or she can go ahead and make a new request. And now, rather than having to go through Diego or another analyst to, to send a chat, she can just go ahead and interact with HelpBot here to create a new ticket. Now, it's also worth noting that if Adele or any other end user circles back and says email is not working, So now we see that in practice here, HelpBot has re replied as we trained it to. Now, if this were not the case, if Outlook was in online mode and her Wi-Fi is fine, she can go ahead and say, no, email is not working, Outlook is online, and Wi-Fi is fine. So now, instead of being deflected with the answer that worked earlier, now we see that she can go ahead and create a new ticket with more information because um, whereas before Alec was just in offline mode, now that's not the case and we still have issues. So we'll go ahead and uh, we hit submit and now HelpBot will let us know that a new ticket has been created.
So now that we've seen a few different ways our end users and analysts can create and update tickets and interact with the virtual agent, let's jump back over to Diego, who as an analyst has access to our web application, web.ticket.ai. Web.ticket.ai is a great supplemental tool for your analysts and your administrators alike. So you'll be able to see your tickets in a Kanban style. You'll be able to see all of your work items for the day, including unread emails. And this is also where you'll be able to start building out your knowledge. So here is the example from earlier. My email is down and the response we created. And here's another example from some knowledge that we built out earlier for someone needing a new laptop. But adding a new bit of knowledge for your virtual agent is as easy as hitting add knowledge, entering the phrase, Maybe entering some alternate phrases as well. And the response that we would like to have our virtual agent respond with. And there we have it. It's that easy. Now let's head back to our tickets here. You may have noticed in the upper right hand corner the reports tab. Now ticket comes equipped with out of the box reporting capabilities that covers a lot of ground. But if you're looking to drill even deeper, we are integrated with Power BI. And a couple other things I'd like to point out here in web.ticket.ai, if you click on the cog, you'll see a few of our other powerful tools and features. And at the bottom of this list is templates. So templates is uh, for your virtual agent. If you want your virtual agent to start replying with a full blown template rather than just a message, we can do that too. So from turning everyday conversations into tickets to leveraging an AI powered knowledge base to a whole host of admin tools, Ticket has something for all of your help desk users and there's so much more to come.